Hi everybody, my name is Richika and I work at Boutique.com. Um, we're in a private beta at the moment, so you're getting all you're all gonna get an insight into what's behind the, the wall without applying for an invite. Um, we're all about the online to offline space, um, concentrating on retailers and fashion. Essentially we, we sort of look at what Open Table did for the restaurants and reservations and we're trying to aggregate local retailers into a common platform to help them with their local marketing. Um, right now a lot of retailers have Facebook pages where they have 200, 300 likes and so they're only ever broadcasting what's new in store to those few hundred people and it's very hard for them to reach mass audience. They also struggle with mobile, it's very um, costly and not very effective for them to each create their own mobile app. So Boutique is, right now has a web app and is working on a mobile app to, to sort of create a marketing tool, marketing ecosystem for the local fashion retailers. Um, where it benefits consumers is that if you're looking, if you not as if you want something the same day, if you like to try before you buy, uh, which obviously you don't in e-commerce, you buy, then you try it on, then you send back, you have to deal with all the delivery hassles. Here we can sort of show you what designers and brands you're interested in, where they are right, right by you if you're living in one of the major cities. Right now we're piloting in SF um, and also in New York. So this is our slash page that you can see that sort of introduces the concept. You can discover lots of new, new fashion, new inventory. Mostly everything in our um, boutiques is exclusive. So they only have like unique items, a few few pieces at a time. So it's quite scarce, scarcity driven, which is a high commodity in this marketplace. Um, so what happens when you sort of join and, and log in? You're presented with all the new arrivals that the boutiques are showcasing that have come into their stores in the last few days, weeks. Um, and so you can just keep a keep a pulse without subscribing to maybe 20 feeds on Facebook to sort of show um, to see get see what's coming into new in stores. If you're interested in a specific item, you can reserve the item to try it on in store. Um, and that's the feature that we're doing to sort of drive the online to offline model. You can obviously um, you can share it on Pinterest. We're integrated with Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, you can contact the boutique with a message functionality and there's a lot of more features that we're sort of adding to sort of bond the online and offline experience including um, following your favorite boutiques and having a personalized feed. Um, a lot of you in the audience, um, I see a, a proportion of, of males, so here's a menswear section that I did earlier. Um, so you can sort of see that in San Francisco who's stocking what um, you can zoom in, you get a map view, you can choose like a, a neighborhood, so say the mission, you can click on the mission um, and see what's actually new in stores in the mission and at what boutiques. Um, so it's all like localized, personalized search. If you've got a specific designer in mind, you can search for the exact designer here or the brand. Um, let's just have a look. And this is what a boutique profile looks like. So if you know Hangar 16, it's in the mission. and um, you get a little bit of a story of what makes them unique. You can see which designers they stock on the right-hand side um, and what they're famous for, what their hours are, um, and obviously take a look at all their merchandise. I'm, I'm ahead. I'm ahead of time. That's where we've got to with our product so far. So questions for Boutique? Sure. So how many boutiques do you have currently and how do you plan on this? So we have over 250 actually um, that have signed up. So we've had great success. Sort of, it's um, definitely apparent that retailers are craving some sort of unique ecosystem to survive in. Um, and expanding right now is will be a city by city rollout. Um, right now we're just perfecting our final like 20% of like what's left to build for a user experience, and then we're sort of getting gearing up to release to more cities. And so yeah. you charge a commission to the uh, boutique. We we. Yes, if we can send them in store and they um, reserve something or purchase something, we can take a commission at that point. Um, so, so you go use the the, the uh, retail side of it. You actually have to go store to store to recruit them. We, um, I mean, in theory, yes. Most of them we can sort of reach out to with an email or a phone call. Uh, we have great interns in most cities that are com we have great lists, great databases available. <coughs> Um, so it's not a, it's not as arduous as like an old sales method of we have to go into each boutique and spend half an hour to an hour with a pitch. It's actually what happens is either you know you're very engaged and we get a 10 minute response in an email and we get them set up. It's, it's a lot faster. And how about consumers? 
Um, so the consumers, right now we're in a private beta, so they've been invitation only and we've been cycling through the process and, and making it more and more relevant for them. No, yeah, no. Sorry, just the pile on to that. The boutiques become sort of affiliates for us. So they all have existing customers, existing newsletter bases, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook. So we, we sort of tap into their systems to get the message out, which has also proven why the invites have already gone viral. Now it only covers the San Francisco area? Yep, right now we have um, New York just gone up as well, um, but it's a pilot in both at the moment, sorry. Could you roll this out to uh, fashion capitals like London, Paris, Milan? Yeah, we, I mean, we'd love to sort of be that global um, sort of like go-to market wherever. I mean, fashion and travel kind of go hand in hand. So if you're looking for new you, new retailers and you like the in-store shopping experience, you're most likely to actually benefit when you are traveling to a new location. Um, we're, we're bootstrapped at the moment. We've gotten this far, so a lot of it's down to the progress of, of how we how we continue. So, so as these boutiques are getting these one-of-a-kind items in, I mean, are they already photographing them professionally and creating a database that you can tap into, or do they have to do that all for you? No, they're actually doing it just um, to share on Facebook, for example, on their Facebook page or on their own Pinterest pages. So some some do professional photography. Some I was in a boutique the other day, and they had like a Canon camera, and they were taking their own photos. It, you, get a, you get a range, but um, we make sure that we just sort of adhere to a quality for what's going to be uploaded on the site or shared on our site, but um, it's not actually an expense that anybody's newly incurring for the site, it's already existing. I see people in the back, sorry. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, is there a price comparison aspect to the site? Um, there is, it's on our staging site, and you can't see it right now, but there will be, so you can sort of see if something's in the $100 range or $1,000. Well, say, say Yeah. And you have affiliates, as you call them, but there's a better price at one versus another. Right. So, I mean, we're location-driven search, so it tends to be um, in the majority of scenarios that our boutiques don't really carry um, the same inventory around their own location. They're very savvy at that, regardless of an online presence, even before the internet. So they, um, it, we haven't really encountered that as an issue, and the boutiques haven't sh sort of um, shied away from that. It, if, um, if there's something that's similar, it maybe it's in a completely different location. So it comes down to that convenience of, I want something within 60 minutes, or if you want to travel three hours for, for something that's $10 cheaper. So how do you get uh, all the data from all the boutiques? Because I assume they don't all have APIs that you can like, you know, get data from. Like, how do you get out? We've made how it. How do you send the data? Sure, we've made it as simple as just like managing a Facebook page for them. It's just really like uploading, sharing information, just as you, once, you're, once your profile's created, it's that easy to just post or repost. And there'll be a point when you can sort of share directly to Facebook or you know connect the account. So it's actually a, a very simple process. So there's no overhead for them really extra. Sorry, I think there's someone in the back. Are you gonna do the reverse where your, where your feed is available? It, we're in conversations right now. We've been approached for that. So, yeah. um, I see someone over there. How do you track the commission? That's a that's a really great question. Actually, we are in a partnership with a we're in a beta with a company called Cardspring that's based down in the valley as well, and they actually do that tracking for us, and we log we log into their API. It's it's a much more complicated <coughs> offline chat we can have, but um, it works, which is great. <laughs> Solves our revenue problems. Um, <laughs> Any other questions? Any other questions for Boutica? Great. Well, thank you. Great demo.